Ooh. Morning troops, another day, another river. We're out in the Witham. I'm telling you what, it's damn near perfect. Damn near perfect. If I planned the day, it would have been just a tad warmer, only because the sliders are freezing up. So casting is quite difficult, but once the baits are in, the water conditions. The river, the flow is perfect. There's no debris coming down. It's not bombing through. After all the rain we've had for the last month or two, it is, I would say, damn, <laughs> damn near perfect. I've had one run, not got overexcited really. It wasn't a full blown run. It was a uh, small fish, picked up the sardine, playing with it for a little while took it off but you know as soon as I lifted the rod up there was teeth marks on it but nothing huge so we've got three rods in the middle rod now is just surface some, some, as I say with the ice you cast out 
if it's sticking, the slider sticking, it'll stay under the surface until the ice has melted in the water, and then it, you know, it gently rises up. So it's not, it's not a disaster. I've got three rods in. Going with the uh, little method I started off with last time that broke me duck <laughs> for the year. So I've got a little roach on one of them, very little roach. I'll show you the stream, I've got that on the right hand rod. There's a little drain to the right hand side. Saw some fry moving around there this morning. It was pumped, the drain was pumping out, there was a lot of water coming out, but that stopped, it stopped pumping. So I've got that little roach near the mouth of the drain, open to pick up some big perch or jacks, anything, you know, I mean, eels, I don't mind. So yeah, got a little roach down there in the margin, right by the air. Uh, I've just seen another little silver fish top. So the fish down there. So there's prey fish around. There should be pike around. So I've had a little run. I had a little tickle. So that's warmed me up a bit. It's only minus two. I got it. It was minus four and a half. That was in the dark. And by the time I set up, it's getting light. But the frost is on everything. It is real frosty day I've got to watch my footing until that sun gets up because it's rock hard it's like a sheet of ice I go half over real but that'd be me broken bone I think it is the ground's that hard so you've got to watch yourself don't get too excited no running up and jumping up when you get a run but little uh, Bambi waddle over to the rods I think for the first hour or two yeah it's uh, crispy to say the least but we got the baits in. Let me show you this swim. Yeah, you can see the frost on the alarms and the rod. In the margins, plenty of frost, plenty of ice. Yeah. Ooh. It's a glorious morning. Got a tractor working up by me cutting vegetation, that's the noise you can hear in the background. There's the left hand rod, float sitting proud. Seven foot of water there. I say hard it's hardly pushing through really, it's ideal. I could go out a bit further if I wanted to, which I might do later. It's uh, a bit hard getting out there at the moment, so the slide slide was freezing on the line. Once that sun gets up and warms up a bit, we'll be able to go out a bit further. The so left hand rod, whole herring, about 10 inches. Single curve hook, size 4, hair rigged. Middle rod. That's a whole sardine, that's the, that's the rod I had to run on. Again, that's presented in seven foot of water on the decks, static dead bait, whole sardine, single sa single hook, size four curve, micro barb. And there's the right hand rod, all the way down there in the margins, that's a whole roach. I say it's a whole roach, it's a, the roach is exactly about one inch long. It's a very small roach. As I say, I'm hoping to pick up some perch, jacks, anything that's going. And that float's moving. Or is it my imagination? That float's moving. Let's get in position.
<laughs> there we go. First one of the day. A roach, one inch long. It's very cold. It must have been holed up by the mouth of that drain. Plenty of lice on it. Very pale fish. Wouldn't say it's got beautiful colours, but beautiful to me. We're off and running. Number one. Second one on the inch roach, same spot, just by the outlet of the uh, drain. On my side of the fish, sadly, there's a bit of mouth damage. Lure anglers, really overloaded gear, ripping the shred out of a fish's mouth. But I'm going to treat it with some Clinique. I'm going to treat it with some Clinique and then get it back. always carry it with me you never know it's not just for carp you know what I mean fish damage is fish damage there we go get the mouth treated and we'll get him get him back Hey. Yeah, so that's the second one. If you haven't seen the last video, very lightweight slider. Really lightweight drilled bullet. 18 inch trace. Single circle hook mounted on a on a loop. So it's it can swivel 360 that hook and go anywhere in the mouth that's two on that this morning one on it the last trip time to change the hook and get the bait back out there yeah so i always carry the clinique with me now, I personally i think the mouth damage too far gone yeah, you know, it's gonna it's gonna have a big missing bit there on its on its mouth, but still treat it that way. You know, you're not gonna get any infection. There. There's no infection there. Don't know how long it's been like that in the water, the poor sod. But obviously, it hasn't stopped his appetite. Still eat him. But yeah, so if you can take some with you, take it on the bank. It doesn't take you 30 seconds to treat a wound. Lecture over. <laughs> Let's get fishing.
Your right hand rod, I've had two fish on the roach that's an inch long and it's been absolute perfect. A joy to be on the river. Now all of a sudden, <laughs> they started running the river off. So now I've got debris all on the surface, debris underneath the surface as well, which is worse because you know, your, your hook's coming back masked now with sediment and weed, you know, the horrible little green wispy bits that float down. So, yeah, it was nigh on perfect conditions and now they've all changed. So that's fishing for you. You've got to adapt on these natural venues. They don't stay the same. The right hand rod is, it's in a bit of slack water, as I say, up the entrance to a, another drain. There's a deep hole there. It's, a, it's, you know, it's instead of fishing seven foot everywhere else, in there, it's in that hole, it's nine foot. So I've got a bit of extra depth there. So I had two fish out of that hole. I'm hoping to have some more. So that's, you know, so in that respect, we've had some joy and some luck. Yeah, you know, I say that it's pumping through at the moment, so I'll stick with the dead stack deads on the bottom for now. And if it gets unfishable or it's just not working out, and I can't get out to where the fish are because they seem to be biting about three rod lengths out, three to four rod lengths out. So you can't get out that far without your float and everything getting dragged away by debris after five minutes so maybe a case I'll take one of the rods out and put a fixed float on there and then just while it's running off trot a dead right through the middle channel along swim five six foot deep only eight foot deep out there max so I could trundle the bait through the swim a foot or two off the bottom see what's going on at the moment Happy, warmed up a lot. The line's not freezing in the eyes of the rods. The slider's not freezing. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Well, what can we say here, it's uh, gone from one extreme to the other, it's gone from a freezing cold, perfect day, perfect morning, to a very warm, lousy couple of hours. I've been running the river off since 10 o'clock, it's dropped down a good foot and a half already, there's loads of debris coming down, to where I was fishing, seven foot of water, and now it's only five, five and a half top whack. And this stretch here, it's quite sandy and muddy and silty, so it's a gradual before it drops off. So yeah, it's, the margins are basically a right off, they're crystal clear and like inches deep. So it's my right hand rod, yeah, nothing's happened, but at least there, where it was a hole of nine foot, it's a seven foot hole. So it's, got plenty of colour there so that ain't too bad. But I say there's a lot of debris coming down and for the last hour 
I've been trotting small deads through the river, through the whole swim. Took one rod in, took me middle rod in, set up a fixed float rig, five foot deep, out to the centre, so it's about, that was about mid water, maybe, maybe two or three foot off the bottom in the mid channel, and I've, I've worked the whole swim for over an hour, and nothing. It's really sunny, it's really bright. Debris coming down like a good one. I uh, just gotta try and position my baits as best I can. I've got a bit of slack water to my right. What happens is, because where the flow of the drain comes out, the flow of the river pumps round and it swings round and it's like boils a little bit. So my right rod's in calm water, my left. My middle rod is now in calm water, but it's only five foot deep. I, ideally, I would like to be to have another rod length out, you know, into seven foot of water where the pike patrol. And my left hand rod, I've just pumped it up the, the left hand margin. I had a little walk down and looked slightly deeper there, drops off quicker, so there's a bit more depth there. So the five foot margin is a lot closer in. So I've got that down. On my left hand side trying to avoid some debris. I've got all three rods in and I'm gonna sit down have a nice cup of coffee. I mean the sunshine it's glorious. I'm actually sweating you know uh, this morning everything was cold. There was frost on everything it was hard work it, you know the sliders were freezing up but the water conditions were perfect you know I had to I lost two so, well, I didn't lose two, I missed two, I didn't, I didn't even have them on, so. We're going to plug away now this afternoon. Hopefully it stops running off and we can uh, concentrate for the last few hours, you know, the afternoon session. Otherwise, you know, if, if it continues like this for the rest of the day, I'm not going to catch nothing. But, you know, water levels are very crucial up this neck of the woods and they manage the river levels and the drain levels religiously up here, you know. And if they think they're holding too much water in Boston, that's it, the old flood defence barriers will open and let a load of water out. It's, you know, it's just the way it is. So it's running off, running off hard. I say it's dropped a good foot, foot and a half, maybe even two, you know, it's, it's dropped. It really has dropped. So it's uh, fingers crossed. The sun is right behind me now. It's, so it's not even in my eyes as I'm looking at the water. Everything should be perfect. And the Witham draining board have done me up like a kipper. But oh well, that's the way it goes. It's a natural venue, you've got to put up with these things. And hopefully, they've dropped a lot off, so hopefully they'll uh, stop running it off shortly and we'll have an afternoon of relative calm where you can get out to a decent depth. But it's been a good, you know, it's been a good morning. I've enjoyed myself. I mean, this morning conditions were tip top. If they'd stayed like that, I would have had a few fish out today. It's bang on for fish. Got to wait for it to stop running off now. So I've got my rods in position. They're not taking up any debris. The line's out of water. I've had to move all my rod rests back up the bank. So I've got you know got them nice and high. Lines out of water. They're not pick, that's not picking up debris. So just got to wait now for Mrs. Pike. Don't want Mr. Pike now. I want Mrs. Pike. I want the big mummer of the river. That's what I want. <laughs> Let's see what we can catch for the afternoon.
It's been a right nightmare today, troops. We've uh, persevered and struggled on when really should have packed up and just had a nice day and <laughs> getting some brandy points in the house because this river's been running off now since 10 o'clock. It's dropped a good two foot. I only had a touch since it started running off at half 10. So, yeah, it's killed it. It's killed the sport. Spoken to a couple of guys today and they've all had fish, but they've all had fish in the morning. Once the river started running off, the sport has died everywhere. So it's a tough old day, but at least we're out in the bank doing what we love. Thanks very much for watching. I'm going to sit here now till it gets dark. Hopefully we'll whack on a nice fish on the end of this video. And then we're the blanking streak is over. That's, that's two trips out in a row with fish on the bank. Nothing huge, but fish is a fish. Thanks for watching, troops. I'll see you again on the bank real soon. If I don't see you at the end of this video, of course, <laughs> holding a 20. <laughs>